Moving on, the Health of Mother Earth Foundation says the 2022 World Environment Day should be dedicated to people at the grassroots whose lives and livelihoods have been impacted by new colonial and extractive forces that exploit, exploit and have nature. The reports. World Environmental Day is celebrated on the 5th of June every year to raise global awareness and take positive action to protect nature and the planet Earth. It is a day that reminds everyone of the need to get involved in environment-friendly activities. Speaking on the theme for this year, Only One Earth, an environmentalist and director of Health of Mother Earth Foundation, Nemo Basi, said it highlights the need to create changes in policies and choices for people to live in harmony with nature. When you subtract from nature and not add anything and not have a sense of stewardship, a sense of responsibility, you only look at how you can transform what you've extracted so as to make things you believe enhance your well-being. This kind of makes humans go numb. Political forces keep on arguing that unless you extract and burn fossils, humans cannot make progress. Now, what is progress if we're killing ourselves? What is progress if the soil that I have to grow crops is polluted to a depth of five meters, a depth of 10 meters? What is progress if the water that I have to drink is laced with benzene 900 times above World Health Organization standard? But it stated that human beings must wake up from the futile dream that the earth can be recklessly exploited without that consequences. He regretted that at this time, when the need to check exploitation of natural ecosystems and wasteful consumption is critical, the world is rather investing in militarization, warfare, and destruction. Having ecocide as an international crime has global implications because the destruction of the environment in one location does not restrict the impact of that action to that location. Also speaking on the Ogoni Cleanup, the Director of Youth and Environmental Advocacy Center, Fine Face Domnamene, called on contractors of hydrocarbon pollution and remediation project handling the Ogoni Cleanup and Water projects to speed up the processes. The cleanup for which we think will be concluded within 25 years, if the current pace is being maintained, then in 50 years we may not have the Ogoni Cleanup you know, completed. So I call on High Prep as a matter of urgency to expedite action on the environmental cleanup of Ogoni area. Environmentalists called on people of the Niger Delta and the country at large, especially youths involved in artisanal refining activities, to embrace renewable energy and channel their efforts towards things that contribute to local and global environmental sustainability. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.